right guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon, I'm designer slash gamer, also level up Brandon if you're watching this on YouTube. And today we're playing Guitaria Fables, one of my favorite new games. You can pick this game up on Steam and Nintendo Switch starting September 2nd. I was provided an advanced copy by the amazing people at P-Cube Limited. All right guys, here we go. So we have a few objectives for this episode. I wanna upgrade our bow, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna check out that brand new area that just opened up. We, you know, we blew up that rock in the last episode and there's a new area for us to check out, which is... Oh, right here. Oh, is this a cutscene? Oh, cutscene. Commander Hazel. Tisk, just what I, just when I thought I needed, I needn't interfere. Uh-oh. Is Commander Hazel like bad? Does she? Does she? They shouldn't have been able to open the tunnel. At least not this soon. <gasps> you guys, Commander Hazel's is she's like a double agent from. Wait, she's she's a bad guy from the from the Republic. Oh, wait, the what were the what were we calling this? The Empire? I don't know. She's bad though. I think she's bad. We must prevent them from getting any further. Our mission counts on it. <gasps> what? I never saw this coming. What kind of crazy plot twist is this? Commander Hazel, I trusted you with my life and turns out you're a nasty double-crossing kitten. Aye, Commander. Uh-oh, that's not good. <gasps> what is that? Wait, is that a purple Macron? Are you sure this will work? It will work, Jet. It has to. Oh, this is another Macron. His name's Jet. I worked very hard to get permission to come here. We have to succeed. What is this, you guys? What is going on? What? You were also the one who assigned Nyanza to work under you. Yeah. Is this another one of your schemes? Well, clearly. Apparently, Commander Hazel's a silly scheming kitty. You aren't concerned they will find out that you're trying to hinder them. Oh, I know. I'm reading this right now, Jet. I'm well aware of this fact. They won't stop, they won't stop searching for the relics, and... Are you quite done? Oh, snap! She put you in your place, Jet. Stop talking, get to work. We have to do what we have to do. As a soldier, I have chosen to save the people from this calamity. Well, why don't you let me save the people too, Hazel, Commander Hazel? I trusted you. You were my best friend. Not really. I don't know, I guess Macron is my best friend. Yes, your highness. Wait, wait, wait whoa, 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 whoa. When did a commander become your highness? Is Commander Hazel more like Queen Hazel or something? Or Princess? Evil Princess Hazel? Guess we're gonna find out. Stop calling me that jet. I am not royalty. Okay, well that answers that question. You are Hazel, my dear. You are sister to the princess, after all. Okay, well, what does that make her then? She's a princess's sister, so she's a... Okay, that's royalty. Huh? You could rule the whole kingdom if you wanted. You have the capa capability. You can even fight better than your uncle, the king. Ooh. Stop. Ooh, she's mad. She doesn't like compliments, apparently. Grumpy as ever. Yeah. So what's the plan? Are you going to retrieve the relic before they can find it? Maybe. I don't have the power to do that, but we will try our best to intervene. Let's hope they will give it up in the process. I'm not giving up, forget it, Hazel. In fact, you've made me now even more resolute to stop you because you are pure evil. Uh, we wanna make a bow, you guys, a better bow. And I think I have most of the stuff to do that. Did I keep my little twiggy thingies? Cause I need one of these to make the bow. 
Oh, I don't have the recipe. It, well, yeah, to make the bow, we need the twiggies, those little wound up twiggies. If I don't have those, we'll just go and get some more. And we need money. Plus, we're gonna attempt to get, oh, cutscene. Good morning, Nyanza, Macron. Have you settled in? Uh, we've been settled in for weeks, Chief Oliver. Where have you been? Good morning, Chief. I'm not that bad living on this farm, right? It's not that bad living on this farm, right, Nyan? Yeah, it's fine, I guess. I could go for a bigger house, though. It's unusual to see you here. Did something happen? Oh, nothing in particular. I just wanted to stop by and say hello. Okay. I do have a message for you, though. Oh. Okay. Sage Albi said he is expecting you to visit him as soon as possible. He didn't say why. <gasps> Better go and ask him personally. Okay, we'll add that to our list. Anyway, tis good to see you are doing fine. Have a good day, young soldiers. Can we even trust Chief Oliver, you guys? I don't know. I don't know if we can. Why suddenly he's looking for us. Yeah, I know. That's weird. Mm. Okay, so on our list, we have to go visit Sage Albi, but we also want to make one of these new bows because the bow we have kind of sucks. I want a better bow. So do we have the sticks in here? Why didn't I save the sticks? I think I got rid of them. I was like, I can get these anywhere. Okay, but I can get them pretty easily by fighting some baddies. So let's go get some sticks and let's go make that beautiful upgraded bow that will hopefully be much better than the previous one. No sticks, really, no sticks, dang it. All right. Okay, before we grab some sticks, we're gonna go talk to the bear, not, not Sage Alvi, talk to him too. But we're gonna talk to the crafting bear, our little uh, friend over here and just make sure I know exactly what we need for this better bow. Okay, so we have everything but these silly sticks, the vines, which we can get from defeating those viney monsters that are really close by. And this bow does attack power plus 25. Hey, it's way better. Critical damage, yeah, it's way better than our previous beginner bow, which is terrible. All right, let's go get some of those uh, sticky things. And then uh, we'll have a better bow. And we'll be more equipped to fight the evil Hazel and whatever enemies she throws at me. She get those while I get them later. <gasps> can I even trust these guards now? Can I trust you guys? I don't know if I can. Let's talk to him. Don't forget to take frequent rests. I don't trust that advice. I'm on duty. See, they hate me now. It's fine. I don't care. Okay, let's get these these thingies. Where are they? Not these, they don't drop anything worthwhile. You know, I guess we'll go visit Sage Alvi while we're up here. Okay, where are these little, the grass skirt ones? Where are they? That, those guys, right there. Hi! <laughs> Take that! I missed him! Hi! <gasps> Skills on cooldown, okay, here we go. Gotcha! All right, so we got one. One more over here, right? Yeah, so that's two. Okay, we only need 30. <laughs> Hello! At least they're really easy to take out. <laughs> nice try. All right, so now we've got nine. Okay, this will go pretty fast. And then we'll go talk to Sage Albi and see what he has to say. I wonder if he's in on it with Commander Hazel or if he's gonna be like, hey, guess what? A little bird told me, and by a little bird I mean Macron and his little friend Jet, told me that Commander Hazel is actually pure evil, so stay away, ah, so stay away from her. Gotcha. Let's see if we can get both of them with this. Oh, never hit me. oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, that's 30. All right, let's go talk to Sage Alba. Sage Alba. Maybe he'll give me another free spell even though I don't have any orbs. <gasps> Hi, Alba. Or Albi, did I say Alba? I meant Albi. Sage Albi. Why is he all sweaty? What's going on, Sage? Hello, Sage, do you need our help? Oh, it is you. Have you figured it out? Figured what out? I've heard you've removed the tunnel boulder. Oh yeah, we did. That's right, Sage. We've opened the long lost path to the north. 
But you know, that boulder is no ordinary boulder. It was a giant golem, a real tough one. Yeah, it was real tough. I thought all golems on the forest were guardians. I didn't expect to find a corrupted one like that. Yeah. It probably had made contact with one of the relics. That's the main reason why I called you here. Oh yeah? After studying the Canadria map, I've concluded that one of the relics is very likely to be hidden in a place difficult to reach. Oh, okay. The Icy Mountain. Ooh, fun. That sounds cool. The Icy Mountain in the northernmost region. I bet the monsters there are much worse than down here. Ooh, fun. Undoubtedly. That's why you'll need to equip yourselves with more powerful equipment and magic. Can you give us some, Bear? We're having a hard time getting them. Don't forget about supplies, too. It will be a challenging journey, but one worth the risk. Oh, okay. Got it, Sage. Thanks, buddy. So I'm curious about something. What exactly happened between the Empire and magic wielders in the past? Why are you asking? Uh, because it seems there was a lot more to it than you've told us. We know, all we know is that magic is forbidden in this kingdom. Anyone attempting to it is accused of treason. But we don't know why. Uh, I don't. It's a long, it's a long story. Well, tell us. It all started with the wicked king. Wicked king. King Curry Curry Sir Surelian? No, his father. Ooh. But he probably he probably no good he probably no good either because he's still obeying the law. Huh? What? The truth is, the king wanted to hoard magical power himself. Oh, I see. To dominate the land. The Royal Academy was against it. I can't talk like him anymore, you guys. It's going to hurt my throat too much. The Royal Academy was against it. They hadn't intended for magic to be used offensively, especially to harm people. This reminds me of Harry Potter. Defensive and offensive magic. So when the Royal King proposed that they cooperate with the Royal Army, they refused. The king was enraged by the rejection. He had every member of the Royal Academy arrested and all records concerning magic were confiscated. What? Gosh, that's something I never knew. I'm glad you weren't harmed, Sage. Yet. I'm one of the lucky ones. Most scholars were exiled or worse. No. This is all I can do to atone for not being able to save my colleagues back then. To let people know that magic isn't intended to harm. After knowing the truth, do you still intend to carry out the plan? Nope, we're out of here. Bye. Just kidding, we'll help. Of course we do, right, Nyan? Yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. I know we're not heroes or anything, but we'll do our best. It must be hard for you to live like this, Sage. Yeah. I apologize if I was harsh when we first met. I was just defensive whenever someone mentions the Empire. I can't help but remember that awful tragedy. Yeah. Anyway, let's focus on the things ahead of us. If my research is correct, there should be a dungeon in the icy mountain. Go there and see whether my theory is correct. Be wary of your surroundings and don't act recklessly. May the light always shine your path. Thanks, Sage Albi. What a nice guy. What a nice bear. He's great. So, we need better weapons, you guys. We gotta upgrade, 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 upgrade. So, we're gonna start with a new bow. And then, we gotta get another orb. To, get, to learn another spell. So I wonder if we need to go and attack the Orc King, because he probably drops an orb. Hey Kenzen, how's it going? He probably drops an orb. So we gotta upgrade if we're gonna be fighting some vicious monsters up north. And potentially Commander Hazel, because she's a double agent for the Empire. We thought she was our friend. She's not our friend. She's a vicious lady cat who's only intent on destroying us, turns out. I think. Not really sure on that, actually. Okay, let's upgrade our bow. Hi! Where's the bow? Right here. That's the one. Hunting bow. Yes. Oh, <laughs> we got a hunting bow. Okay, so that means we can get rid of our other dumb bow. Dumb bow. <laughs> oh, okay, so it upgraded our bow to that one. So let's actually set that to auto or to equip on this one. Okay. And we got some some pies to Oh wait, I wanted to see what the other thing how we can use sap. Okay, so before we go into that thing. Oh, we need 35 sap. We have 
We need five copper bars. How do we make copper bars? We have tons of copper. Um, can we buy like a copper ingot from him? Aha! Aha! How many do we need for the weapon? Oh, we can only make two copper ingots. We need a lot more copper, you guys. Yes. Okay. At least we have two copper ingots. So let's go back home to Sage, or to, uh, oh, there she is. You're evil, Commander. Let's talk to her, see what she says. Oh, are you making sure to do daily exercise? We must be prepared for any eventuality. I don't trust you one bit, Commander Hazel. I know what you're up to. I'm trying to look all cute and kitten-like. You're evil. She's pure evil, you guys, I think. I mean, she could just be misguided. It could just be that she's a kitty who doesn't really know what she should be doing. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, let's go to the bear, uh, Shamrock, and figure out exactly what we need to upgrade our sword. Oh, we need, we need, we need a copper. Oh, dang it, didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, where's my pickaxe? Here. We need copper. Plus, we are going to need some armor. Is that copper? Yes. We're going to need some armor, you guys. So let's uh, figure out how to make that. We got some copper. Is there any more copper over here? That's just a rock. We do. Oh, there's some copper. We do know that other place, too, up north, that has all that. All those uh, ores as well. So we can go up there. Depending on how many copper bars we need. Do we have any copper in here? Just want to double check. Nope. We've got some good stuff in there, though. Let's put those in there. Maybe this would be like our monster box for things that monsters drop. Put the honey in there, too. Yeah. And the sap. That'll be our monster box. I'm going to forget that's there. That's fine. All right. Hey, Mr. Bear. Okay, so to make the veteran sword, we need 35 sap when we need five. Oh, we need a lot more copper. We need a lot more copper. Okay, so we're gonna go get more copper. We're gonna get more sap. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. How much sap do I have here? We got two. Let's actually carry the sap on us because we're gonna need to have it anyway. Okay, cool. All right, so let's switch back to this. And let's go fight some baddies. And get some more sap and some more copper from the from the mines. <clears throat> okay. Let's see how much damage we can do from far away with these big guys. Oh, oh geez! Oh. oh my gosh. Oh you know, not that much damage. <laughs> So we're going to resort or go back to using our spells. Cuz that's not really that great. <laughs> oh no. Oh good, we froze him. Dang it. I was stuck in a spell. That's how they get you. That's how they get you when you're stuck in a spell. Spells on cooldown. Take that, buddy. How many saps do you drop? Please tell me it's more than just one. Or we're going to be here all day. It's just one sap. They drop one sap. And we need like 30 saps. Okay, well, let's grind. Time to grind. I don't need what the bees drop, but you know, actually honey is very useful. We may as well take them out. Here we go. Spell's on cooldown. That spell's not on cooldown, although it is quite cool. Get it, because it's icy. Oh man, okay. Not enough mana, fine. Ooh. Maybe my sword is the fastest way to kill these guys. Oh! There we go. Hey, B. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. All right, so where are the... Let's go back out here so more of those guys spawn. Get some more sap. We're going to have to do this a lot. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe this is the kind of stuff I should probably do off camera, but... Oh, wow. Oh! Okay, mana's full. Let's get him with some spells here. Pull the mana back. Oh! 
<laughs> oh, so it that's nice for them. For them, it cancels whatever action they're doing when I freeze them. Like that. Oh, jeez. Gotcha. Oh no. Yeah. See, if you're in their attack radius and they try to, oh, no, no, no. and they try to attack you, you can use that freezing spell and we'll cancel their little action. Are okay, there more over here? Just the silly bees. Oh. No, no, no! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Any more of these guys? Nope. Okay, let's get them to respawn. Yeah, I think we need like 30 saps. So we're, we'll be doing this for a little while. Take that, Forest Bee! Yeah, I do like this bow and arrow. I just wish it were a little stronger, you know? Like, it'd be nice if you could kill these baddies in one hit, but maybe that's actually. Whoa! Uh, I forgot I could do that! Why did I forget I could do that? <sighs> That's my new super cool skill that I really need to make sure I hit people with. Okay, so it's I got a cooldown of five. You can't see it because it's behind me, but it's back there. Okay, let's hit this guy. Oh, dang it! He moved! Silly bee. Alright, is that 30? That's 30, you guys! We did it! We did it! Let's go back. Let's go and get our upgraded sword. Oh, I didn't go to the inn at night. And that was a... It's fine. I'll try tonight. All right, guys, let's get our upgraded sword. Wait, do we need copper too? We need copper! No copper respawn. So let's go to that place where all that, where was that? Not Rivera Fortress, Forest Sanctuary? Is that where all that stone was? There was a place with tons of stone. And copper. Yes, I remember now. Okay, where's our pickaxe? Let's, let's bind it to... Um, oops. Let's shortcut it to down. Because we do use it quite a bit. Hi, golems! Yeah, up here. Up here, there's all those rocks. Unless Commander Hazel is like guarding the area. It's a possibility. Guess we'll find out. Is she up here? Oh, she's not guarding. All right, we got some copper. Not enough though, we need a lot more copper than this. Let's get some gold too. Space in our inventory. Yeah, inventory full. Lovely. Alright, what can we drop? Let's drop these. Just definitely need some more copper. Can we buy copper? I wonder if we can buy copper. I didn't even think about that. We can probably buy copper, right? What do we have now? 19, hey, we can make it maybe at least, we might be able to make two more bars, I think. Okay, let's get the rest of these ores. Yeah, I think we can make two more bars. So I think we're good then. Oh wait, no, we need five bars. We'll have to buy some copper, if we can. Not sure. Shamrock, Shamrock. We're ready for our brand new, beautiful new sword, buddy. I need 35. 